friends, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I hope that you will consider subscribing. I currently upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday with bonus uploads in between. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can't just subscribe anymore. There's a little bell that's right next to the subscribe right next to the subscribe button. You have to hit the bell so that you're notified of all new uploads. So if you just subscribe now, you won't see the video. You have to hit the bell. I also have two other channels if you're interested. I have a vlog channel. I always link down below. I also have a reselling channel. So one of my part-time jobs is I resell clothing, products. I resell almost everything on eBay, but I resell on Poshmark, eBay, and Amazon. So if you're interested in like a side job or you've heard of reselling and you wanna know how it works, I basically show you hauls, I take you shopping with me, I tell you how much money I'm making, so I will leave a link to that down below. Speaking of reselling, this is actually thrifted. I picked this up from Goodwill, the Goodwill outlet for like 25 cents, but girl, I'm not liking it. Um, I think it's supposed to be a dress, so it's like, I mean, I like the pattern, but then it has like this going on, so you can't wear a bra, it has like this going on, and I don't know. My D cup breasts need a bra. I just can't. <laughs> if you're new around here, I always get to TMI. I cannot go braless. Any other like big boobied friends? Can you guys go braless? I just feel like a wild mammal. Like it's like hitting me in the face. I can't. I don't know. I commend y'all that can do it, but I just, I don't know. I don't want to say it's a curse, but I just, I can't wear like backless things. I feel very uncomfortable wearing things where you can't wear a bra. I just don't like it and my D cups don't like it either. That's just one of the things that I'm kind of like, oh, I kind of wish I had like smaller boobies so I could wear it. How did it get here? Anyways, friends, moving on. Today we're talking about nails. So I promised you that the what I got for Christmas video is coming soon, but one of my Christmas presents were these little things. I'll show you close ups of them. These are called Color Street nail polish strips now in a recent video i think it was a quickie with nikki i have a series here on my channel called quickie with nikki i told you that i thought i had tried these i have not tried these i had tried some actual like nail strips that i hated that i got from like walmart so my best friend maria if you watch the vlog channel you all know maria she bought these for me because she knows i'm into like trying beauty products and everything and it rung a bell for me because you guys were telling me about these. And I was like, oh my God, my subbies were telling me about Color Street. So I looked it up and she, she told me, oh, one of our mutual friends sells them. And I was like, oh no, is this like one of those like, I'm going to try to sell you essential oils, MLNs or something. And because I remember seeing our mutual friend on Facebook, like, like suddenly like showing her nails and being like, check out my store. And this is a girl who's like, how do I say this without being offensive? She just wasn't like, the only thing she ever really posted on Facebook was like her family and her kids. So I was just like, what is this? Like, is she a YouTuber now? And it would always be like nail shots, you know, like look at my nails, check out my store. So I just assumed that she was like selling like, you know, like essential oils or is she selling Herbalife? By the way, I do quite like Herbalife products. We should do a video on MLN products. Anyways, I'm not saying that Color Street is an MLN. I'm not sure. I did research the company. So what these are, they are real nail polish strips. So let me not misspeak. I was reading the website. There is a lot on their website. If you want to look it up, I'll leave a link down below. I'm just going to summarize what I found for you. So it says in each of these strip things. So I'm going to show you how to apply them. This is my first time using them and I'm going to give you my thoughts at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around to the end to hear my thoughts. It is a base color and top coat of high quality liquid nail polish in each strip. It says results in brilliant salon quality manicure in just minutes, no dry time smudges or streaks, and it lasts up to 10 days. 100% real nail polish, not stickers. Flexible, can be gently stretched for a perfect fit. All great, made in the USA, awesome. What I didn't understand is that like people could sell these. So I didn't know until right before filming this video if you could just go on their website and buy it, which it looks like you can because I did add a couple to my cart just to see. 
but it looks like they also have these things that they call stylist and i went through the process i just wanted to see like you can sign up to basically sell these they're called stylus i think so you can sign up to be a seller of these and that is the mutual friend that i saw on um facebook selling these so you can sign up i think you have to pay i'm pretty sure so is that an mln i don't know let me know your thoughts down below i don't want to go too deep into that because i know they're very controversial but let me know your thoughts maybe you sell color street and you love it let us know explain more i am a total novice I am not claiming to be an expert. This is my first time even looking up the company, but um, it says you can host a nail bar party. So you can host a party and sell these. It says it's easy. There's rewards if you do it. Free shipping of products. Um, but I think you do have to buy them. From what I can tell, you have to buy them and then you sell them and then there's rewards and you can become an independent stylist and you sell them and just you can apply on your phone or whatever so i just thought let's try these out because the nail strips that i purchased from walmart i don't even know the brand i told you guys in that quickie with nikki they were horrible and i'm sorry for misspeaking i thought they were color street they're not so these are base coat top coat and nail polish in one strip we're gonna try these out i'm gonna show you me applying them for the first time and then i'm gonna come back at the end and tell you my thoughts and let's talk about it in the comments. So let's jump in to my busted nails with nothing on them. We'll apply these, stick around to the end to hear my thoughts. All right, so here are the three that I got for Christmas. I wanted to do this one before Christmas, but it's the day after Christmas, but whatever, we'll still do it. Um, I don't know if red glitter is a little much for all over, like all five nails, but... <laughs> I mean, you're talking to the girl who currently has on like neon pink eyeshadow on a Thursday. What's today? A Thursday. So whatever. Thursday at like 4 p.m. Let me turn my ringer off and let's do this. I'm a little skeptical, but I'm also excited because if this works, I will be very happy. So I'm just going to go all out and do this like red glitter. Do they have names? Mm, this one is, I think it's called A-Lister. Can you guys see that? No, my lights are not going to let you see it. There we go. It's called A-Lister. So, all right. The instructions on the back look like easy peasy. It says remove clear cover, peel polish strip, tear tab, and select end. Apply to nail, gently stretch. Do not apply over cuticles or skin and file excess. So, just gonna quickly file my real nails down. My real nails are doing superb, thanks to Halo Beauty. And then we will just get started with this. Something in here smells like strawberry. I don't know, I like it. Um, okay, so it came with a nail file and nail prep pad. So maybe I should clean my nails first. It doesn't say that on here, but it says nail prep. So I'm just assuming I should probably clean off my nails. So let's do that just to make sure they're nice and clean. Wow, this, now this smells like actual nail polish. That's so interesting. It smells like I just opened a bottle of nail polish. That's hilarious. All right, I like that it came with a nail file. I had my own nail file here, as you saw, but it came with one. Okay, so let's do this. Remove clear cover. Well, first I should peel this off. So I'm assuming this is the thumb. Looks like it. Looks like there's a couple thumb options, actually. So maybe that's to, like, reapply. Oh, good filming there, Nikki. <laughs> Looks like there's two thumbs. Let me see. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, whatever. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I think there's two thumbs in case maybe you mess up. So what... Remove clear cover, remove clear cover. Okay, so there's the clear cover. You take that off, put that over there. Peel polish strip. So, that, uh oh, oh God, I ripped it. Already messing up here. 
Oh wow, it's like hardened nail polish. It feels like, you know, um, what are those roll rolly strips that you eat? Shoot, fruit roll-ups. It feels like a fruit roll-up. Okay, tear tab and select end. Oh, so I wasn't supposed to take this part off, I don't think. Apply to nail and gently stretch to fit. Okay, well I've already ripped the end. I don't know if you guys can see that. I've kind of ripped the end. Can you see that? Will it focus? But, okay. We'll still make it work. Maybe, uh, I'm confused. I've already messed up here. I've already messed up. Maybe we can use this as the end, yeah. There we go. So you can just flip it around. I'm just really nervous because I want to make sure I cover the nail properly. Okay. So that's good. So you just, if you guys ever rip the end like I did, just flip it around, use the other side. Apply to nail and gently stretch to fit. Okay. Done. It's a little like off right here on this side. Let me see if it'll focus. Yeah, you can see. So I don't know if I can file that because it says don't go over the skin, but it's just so big for my thumb. All right, whatever. Let's use their nail file. File it off. I really hope this works. I'm a little, a little skeptical, but if it does work, that would be great. It would be a nice option to have instead of doing the glue-ons. Okay, and then you file it off. Oh God. It's not, oh, I'm, I filed it, but it kind of just kind of peeled off. So let's just put it around like that. I kind of just peeled it off. That looks good, except for, I don't know if you can see on this part, it's over the skin. So I feel like maybe I should have trimmed that. I just kind of tucked it in. I really didn't have to file it much as you saw, and it just came off, but I don't know about this excess at the end. I feel like there should be like an, a second step maybe to fit it to the finger first and trim it, but all right. The thumb looks pretty good except for that part. Maybe we could just rip it off a little bit. Oh, there we go. So I just peeled it off. There's a little part of my nail exposed, but it's not too bad. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep going and I'll let you know how this goes. Okay. All right, I'm on the third nail. I realized I kind of have the steps mixed up. So first, you remove the clear cover. I thought that was not the first step, but apparently it is. So first thing you do is remove the clear cover, which is a little tricky. Okay, so remove that. Then you peel the polish strip, which makes more sense because it's easier to get like that. I had the steps kind of mixed up. Then you decide which end is which. Um, I think this side looks good. And then, well, before you decide which end, you're supposed to peel that part off. So that's, you peel that off. Then you decide which side is which, which side you want to use. Like in the first example, I'm glad that actually happened so I could show you that you can use either side. Then you stretch it to fit the nail like this. And then you file. So now I've got the correct steps. The filing is really easy. Like I just actually file a little bit and then I just kind of peel it off. I find that that's like a little more time effective. File, peel, file, peel, right at the nail line. I push it down a little bit, file it a little more. Boom, we've got one more nail to go, friends. All right, nails are done. I am going to put the camera back on me and give you my final thoughts, but here is the finished product, friends. Here it is. I definitely love the glitter, but you guys know. I feel like my oldies, but my goldies know I love glitter. So let me come and tell you my final thought. This, this is annoying. I think this is one of the reasons why I don't like this top is because this part's just, it's ill-fitting for me. I think it's supposed to be a little bit bigger. So I, 
yeah i'll probably redonate this but i feel like it's cute it's cute to have filmed in but i could never like actually wear it outside so let's talk about my thoughts um this at first i found it a little annoying <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to you but it's my first time anytime there's something that's the first time as you saw me applying it i wasn't even following the steps properly just a little annoying to try to like fit but once i got going the second hand was a breeze i finished it in like i don't know three minutes so first it was annoying then it was a breeze i think it does take some practice um and i honestly think there should be another step like where it says just pick the end that you want because everybody's finger shape is different every some people have really tiny nail beds some people have huge nail beds like i do i think that it should say maybe trim to fit especially on the sides like some of the strips like the pinky one doesn't cover my entire pinky and some of them like go over onto the skin and it clearly says um apply to nail do not apply over cuticles or skin and then you file the excess so ease of applying i feel like you get used to it also the step that where it says filing i don't know i think it would just be so much more beneficial if you trim off a lot of that excess and then file it would make it quicker but it doesn't say trim anywhere it just says file so i don't know let me know for those of you that have tried it i'm curious to see how long this will last i'm going to post this video the day after i do this so follow me on instagram i'll update you guys on instagram stories because it says this can last up to 10 days the thing with me though is i use my hands a lot so i type a lot i wash dishes i do wear gloves when i wash dishes so I'm curious to see how long this will last. My best friend, she had it on her nails and she said it was lasting. She had it on for four days, but her daughter, her daughter's six though, my goddaughter, she's kind of wild. You know, she's digging, digging up her nose, digging in dirt, digging in her butt. Like she's digging in everything. Hers came off pretty quickly, but I'm curious to see how long it'll last. But if it lasts for 10 days, I like this. I don't know anything about ordering it from a host or going to a party. From what I saw, you can order it from the website. I saw some for $10. I saw some for $13. If this lasts for 10 days, I could get down with it. I would just need to tailor it, uh, the steps. I, I need to trim it. And I feel like that's a step that they leave out that could probably be really helpful for people. But I love the way it looks right now. I mean, day one. I'm not super picky about my nails, though. Like, there is, like I said, there's some excess on the skin. Like the pinky's not totally covered. I'm always that girl that's like, oh, you like my nails? Look from afar. <laughs> like I'm not gonna, I'm not nitpicky about it. I feel like if you're really nitpicky and you, not even nitpicky, that sounds like a negative connotation. If you're a perfectionist, this may not be for you, girl, because it's not gonna fit every single nail perfectly unless you really take the time to work at it. And if you're gonna do that, you might as well just paint your nails, right? Like if this is gonna take you more time you might as well paint your nails unless it does last 10 days but first try i pretty i like it um you know i'll keep you posted follow me on instagram and i will keep you posted and let you know how it goes over 10 days i'm probably not going to leave it on for 10 days probably about four but i'll let you know if it even lasts the four days let me know if you want to see like an update because i do have two more my friend was nice enough to send me purple she knows my favorite color i love her so this purple is called ibiza is it Ibiza or Ibiza? Whatever, Ibiza Nights. And then the silver is called Shangri-La. Shangri-La. So I will keep you posted. Follow me on Instagram for updates. But first, first impressions, I like the way it looks. It's not perfect, but I think total for the first time, it took me like 15 minutes. I'd probably speed it up and make it faster as I learn to do it. So let me know your thoughts down below. Have you guys tried Color Street? Do you like it? Do you not? Do you sell it? Let me know. Hopefully we can all be nice in the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. I feel like people get really touchy about things when you can like you can sell things and there's independent stylists that can sell and there's rewards for selling and how much you sell. So let me know your thoughts down below. You can check out my most recent video right here.